Sam here from US Sport Flight Academy bringing you a quick lesson on the pitostatic system. Three instruments are powered by the pitostatic system, the airspeed indicator, the altimeter, and the vertical speed indicator, or VSI. The airspeed indicator is the only instrument that uses both the pitot tube and static port. It measures ram air pressure versus static pressure to give us our airspeed. The altimeter only uses the static port to measure your altitude. It uses aneroid wafers that expand as the static air pressure decreases and it contracts as the air pressure increases. The VSI works by measuring differential pressure using a diaphragm and a calibrated leak through a small hole. The size of the hole restricts the airflow so it can't move in and out as fast as the diaphragm can. This creates a pressure differential that causes the needle to move. This is also where we get our trend and rate information. It takes about six to nine seconds for everything to stabilize. Once the calibrated leak catches up, we'll have a reliable and specific climb or descent rate. If your pitot tube becomes blocked, only your airspeed indicator will be affected. If it has a drain hole, the airspeed will read zero. If it doesn't have a drain hole or it too becomes blocked, it will no longer function properly. As you climb, your indicated airspeed would go up and vice versa. If your static port gets blocked, it affects all three of these instruments. Your altimeter will become stuck at a certain altitude, VSI will indicate zero, and your actual airspeed will be higher than indicated as you descend, lower than indicated as you climb. To remedy a blocked static port, you can use either your aircraft's alternate static source or create your own by breaking the VSI in a steam gauge airplane. A detailed understanding of the pitot static system is a great way to become a better pilot. Take care.